Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and today's video we're going to be talking about diesel additives. Now these are essentially products that are on the shelf at most petrol stations, most sort of car parts, shops, everything. Like I think I've even saw them in Asda the other day. Um, and they're additives that you can add to your fuel um, by literally just putting it in the fuel tank um, with every sort of tank of diesel or so. Um, that essentially are designed to help your car. So there's three types, we're only going to be talking about diesel ones today. Um, and they are DPF cleaners, diesel system cleaners, and diesel boosters. So I'm going to be talking to you mainly from my experience with Red X um, products who make actually pretty good um, additives. Now a lot of people don't believe that additives are actually that beneficial, however, um, a lot of research and spoken to a lot of people about this sort of thing and the general consensus is actually they do work pretty well so let's we'll talk about number one which i think was a dpf cleaner i can't remember which one i read out but um yeah so we'll go with the dpf cleaner first now if you've got a diesel car and it's sort of from 2006 onwards your car will be fitted with a dpf and if you've had it removed um, which some people do um so essentially i don't know if it's a bit windy um, apologies if there's any noise but essentially what dpfs do is they they stand for diesel particulate filter um, and they catch the diesel particulates um, they filter them out so they don't go and harm the environment so um, it helps reduce diesel emissions um, and what they essentially do is to stop themselves getting completely clogged they'll then go through what's called a regeneration um, which is where they essentially burn off the soot um, and it mainly happens on motorway journeys so if you don't drive your car very often on the motorway um, unfortunately I do um, or I, I drive in those sort of scenarios quite regularly then this car won't suffer with um, these issues however if you don't and you drive mainly around town such as the golf here um, then I would definitely advise you using the DPF cleaner um, additive and essentially what this does is it's got something called a catalyst in it which allows chemical reactions to occur quicker um, so essentially what it means is, is that the exhaust and the DPF um, in order to burn the soot off instead of having to be 600 degrees Celsius it can only be 300 degrees Celsius so it means it's much more easy or much easier even for the DPF to do a regen um, so obviously this definitely has its benefits and these are if the thing is with these products is they they have to they are tested and proven to do this it's not like they can just sell the product saying that it does because it genuinely has to under eu law make that much of a difference so for me um i would definitely advise if you've got a dpf car and you're having dpf issues then definitely consider looking at that it's only about five pounds um for many of these a bit more expensive in a petrol station you can get it on amazon prime as well um, well you can get it on amazon it's not actually prime which is a frustrating thing but um yeah um moving on then to diesel system cleaners now essentially these are the same type of thing you put it into your fuel tank and it has a solution in it that breaks down um, carbon and reduces carbon within the engine itself so in diesel engines especially you get what's called carbon deposits which essentially means that the soot and stuff that the engine produces, not all of it escapes the engine and it sometimes blocks up the engine, especially in the EGR valve, um, which is the exhaust ga gas regulator valve. Um, and essentially you get thick layers of sooty crud um, that impacts on the performance of the engine. So what you can do, and also it can, it can block the injectors as well if you've got poor quality fuel. What you do is essentially chuck this stuff in. Um, and again, it's got this catalyst in it, which instead of causing the DPF to burn, um, it actually lasts much, it's almost like a shorter lasting um, catalyst, but more effective in the fact that it will remove some of the carbon from inside the engine. Um, and also what it does is it actually primes the fuel um, in the fuel tank as well. So these deep, this um, carbon is essentially caused by poor quality fuel, um, sort of contaminants in the fuel. So supermarket fuels, especially if you use your if you use your local supermarket to fill up on fuel, their fuel tends to be less quality compared to sort of Shell, etc. Actually, I, I was speaking to a person the other day, and they previously worked for Shell, and they said that if for any reason um, a batch of fuel didn't meet Shell's 
quality standards it would then be sold to the supermarkets to sell um, so that's the sort of difference in the fuel is that they have more stringent um, technical testing basically so that's what a additive can do to help um, cleans basically cleans the engine now in terms of how often you should do this um, people on the Volvo forums especially say anywhere between once a month to once a year so it's sort of personal preference but the sake of four pounds I think it's definitely worth doing a couple of times a year if not um, sort of bi-monthly so that's my advice on that one and then the final is going to be diesel booster now this to be honest is going to be the least sort of um, important in my eyes anyway um, essentially if you use supermarket fuel you can add the diesel booster in and it will basically give you premium fuel um, so really you've got to weigh it up if your tank is small enough that you can pay for premium fuel um, and it's not an issue then that's fine but whereas on a car like this that's got a 70 litre fuel tank it cost me 95 quid to fill this up um, if I was to then pay an extra 20p a litre, um, that's only for another £15, whereas you can actually buy diesel boosters for um, between eight, four and £8. So that's sort of what the diesel boosters are for. Personally, I think I'd rather just pay for the premium fuel. Um, I, don't, I don't use premium fuel permanently. I sort of change um, from general supermarket stuff and then run a couple of tanks of premium through it or just just as and when really whatever suits me as long as i'm putting deep premium fuel in re fairly frequently it's fine so um yeah that is pretty much um a breakdown of the diesel fuel additives um let me know what you guys use i'll do a separate one on um petrol additives but yeah like i said um there are certain ones that are worth it and certain ones that aren't and for to be honest for the price that they are it's worth just buying a couple and having a go with them so um yeah thanks for watching guys let me know your experiences and i'll see you in the next video cheers